I'm getting lost in this place. Okay. It's like the Macy's of art. Mmm. Wow. It wasn't part of my plan to knock over this piece accidentally and have it smashed to 200 pieces. But the thing is, is that the, the title of the piece was called Broken Magic, you know, and it was just the title I gave it. But the one thing that was really novel about this piece was that when it came out of the kiln, it was 100% complete. Like it didn't have to do anything to it. It just came out of the kiln perfect. So that's so rare for me. But then it broke into 200 pieces such the opposite of, of perfection out of the kiln, but perfect for the title of Broken Magic. And now it's kind of like, now, you know, it's kind of like, um, you know, the prodigal son returned or something like that, where it's now complete. You know, it's done its journey and now it returns, right? That's cool how it like something. That's cool. Yeah. 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 The reason why this thing broke is because I was taking another piece off the wall. <laughs> I, I couldn't see what the piece that, that fell because I was carrying this one piece and the piece was called The Failure of the Well. I like titles that have flaws to them because we are flawed. People are flawed, you know. And I'm, and a lot of the times I, uh, I bring out that as a subject matter. I, I often make pieces that have to do with my personal stupidity. I made a whole series called this, the Cadence of Stupidity, and it's like, it was kind of like a sequel to Pinocchio, but it actually was a big self-portrait. You know, what is my nature? My nature is still there. That's why it's called my nature. You know, my nature is always going to be like that. But I'm bringing it to my to the objective mind, saying, "Isn't it interesting how Arthur does this?" You know, so the voice inside me wants to talk to Arthur and say, "You know, we're we're gonna have a better day today." You know, so so that's my conscience. I make this character, which is an inner ear with eyeballs, and that's my my conscience. So whenever we see an inner ear with eyeballs, that's me talking about my conscience. Other people have a lot of other kind of uh, names for your conscience. They call it, maybe even call it your higher power or whatever. You know, but the thing is, is that it's it's the other, it's it's the thing that helps you along. You know, it's the voice. goes into there like that. This one goes in like that. And this one 